Hey folks, Species7 here, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to our first episode as the farmer. So, the big question hanging in the air the last time around here in Grazy Land was, would that big rainstorm help out the moisture in our field? Well, the short answer is no, and not because of advanced time and check the moisture, but in fact, apparently that was not rain, it was hail. And in this part of the world, hail is not wet, and rather than evaporate or melt, I should say, it actually just simply disappears. So it did us no good. So you will see we are sitting here with our favorite wet machine, the John Deere Frog, and we're going to attempt to just simply fill it up, pretending that our fertilizer magically turns into, in this case, uh, hmm, come to think of it, no. What we're going to do, I was going to fill it up with water and spray that on the field, but I think let's, uh... Well, uh, we can't fill it till we get everything out of here, can we? All we can do is simply change it. Alright. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do then. We are going to... Uh, it's not going to be enough to do the field. Kelp? No. We're going to go straight up water. And, uh, yeah. Let's do that. We're going to go straight up water, and we'll spray that out there, and then I will come back and fill it up, and we will uh, do much the same again. Because I do believe that we got a little ways to go, and we're going to want to uh, fire some herbicide out there, so let's keep that in mind here. Here we come, field five to the rescue. And let's start deploying. Dun, 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 dun. Here we are. Very nice, very nice. So, now I think I've uh, got a little excited about how wide this might actually be. So, let's take it over where it's going to maybe come close to reaching the edge of our field and not too far because of course there are things to hit boy are there things to hit alright no I still don't feel comfortable that we're not going to click those bins you know like well I wonder how those got there hey genius yeah I don't know just someone parked them there when I turned my back alright so Straight water, take one. <laughs> and away we go. So I do hope everyone's doing well. I hope that uh, wherever you're living and whatever you're doing, that spring has sprung fairly. You're not still in the uh, depths of cold and deluge. Ian Robson, I'm pointing at you. Or uh, any of those sort of miserable things. Or if worse, like my buddy the Northern Alex, who likely is still quite northern. Now, how far up here are we going to get? So far, things are great, other than soil moisture, which is somewhere between arid and barren. But, uh, and I also, although I think we're just a little off to the side of it, I see what appears to be quite the infestation, as it were. So hopefully, we're going to be able to uh, accomplish this task and then uh, double up on it by going back through here with a little double C or maybe double A. Yeah, we're just going to throw double A's all over the field because I hear it's good at killing weeds. Who knew? Better than double C's though, those are pricey because hardly ever anything uses it anymore. And then, of course, we could mention double Ds, but other than mag lights and really large braziers, nobody hears about double Ds anymore. Okay, and we're there. Let's shut off our incredibly precious water. And find our way to the edge, because we're going to get at least a couple of rows. This is a reasonably efficient sprayer, it seems, which uh, one certainly must be happy about. Because the alternatives are just the opposite. What do you think of that? 
That's some of that farming logic. Okay. Get her all lined up. And as we like to say in the old first person shooter business, let's just do some prey and spray. Alrighty, here we go. Line up on a row of corn and we'll walk her back down. Well, like I said, we're gonna see what happens. We'll, uh, I think we'll make this row. Hopefully we'll make this row. Otherwise I am just gonna go straight water, of course. And uh, get lined up again. We were starting to drift. A little bit of a rise in the field eh, is enough to make you drift off a little bit. Or the sound of my voice, I'm sure, is enough to make you drift off as well. So, there's that big dark green weedy section again. Look at that. Let's go for a fly in. Nice. Okay. And we'll just fly back out here because. You know, and as well as I do, if I can't see the tip of that, I don't know where it is. So, there it is over there. <laughs> that sure is a funny looking thing, eh? I tell you. What a great device, though. It's saving us a lot of time and effort here. And we are just going to make this. Please let it run out. I know it's just water. I suppose I could just pee the rest of it out on the street here as we head back to the farm. Which I'll likely do. I think when we get to the end here, I'll simply fold it up and leave it running. And it should run itself dry. That's the theory, and I'm sticking with it. Alrighty, there we go. Water, water everywhere. Oh, it shuts off? No way, man. Ugh. Well, we actually have to sit here and wait for this to wind down, guys. <laughs> Uh, I know. We'll clean our very own section of the road here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's kind of funny though, eh? It doesn't actually uh, show up. Notice that? Yeah. You'd expect a like 30, 40 meter wide, however wide this thing is, black stripe down the middle of the road, and she's just not there. Although I've got to admit, the side of the road has got much better soil moisture than our field does. All right, Mr. Carr, we're just waiting on you. Well, okay, we're waiting for the machine to fold up, but you know how it is. Being human, we all like to blame someone else for whatever little thing it is that's irritating us at the moment. All right, so... In the gate. Over the road. Grandmother's fertilizer we go. Alright, come on boy. Push it, push it. Okay. And no, I said push it for those of you that might have uh, thought I just said something else. Do 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 Bonk. Of course this thing never runs out of gas because we're always parked so close to it. I think half the time when I hit R for refill, we're just refilling the gas. Who knows? Let's fill her up, and we'll of course uh, default to NPK, so remember that guys, if you've been spraying your field and you come back in and go to fill her up and go back out and, you know, it was pesticide you were spraying and, or herbicide and all of a sudden you're spraying NPK, it won't be good, especially with the soil mod, because uh, obviously you'll have this really weird kind of mosaic field where parts of it have weeds growing and Parts of it are malnutrition, and parts of it are over-nutrified, and... <clears throat> well, you know what I'm talking about here. So let's defrog. And... switch to... Do, do, do. Oh, right. See? That's exactly what I was talking about. Except for the one important thing I forgot. Make sure you set it. Before you leave, here we are. P K N A B C A A B B C C and kelp and water. All right, now we're off. Whoa! The wind is froggy. Wow! Now we know why they call it a frog. Okay. And did we catch the gate? Nope. We managed to get past it this time. Not a big fan of the gates. There we go. Just because I've hit so many things on them.
Alright, now I gotta try and figure out... Oh, right, we did two even rows, right? It lasted long enough for two complete rows. So, let's get into our third. Up, 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 unwind. Yeah. Who needs brakes when you have a great big unfolding transformer on your back? That's way cooler than brakes. <laughs> and are we out too far again, or am I just in enough? Just in enough. That's what I like to see. You almost think I'd know what I'm doing here once in a while. Once in a very rare while. But, nonetheless. Okay, pick a row, stay with it. See if we can't get through this in one piece. A couple more of these and we're done. We'll be able to advance time and, uh, well, you guys are aware if you watched my last episode that this is going to be a little bit of a crunch. Because, uh, <clears throat> well, we have added three of the four moisture types to the field. This is the final one. And if we don't get a significant uppy in the moisture, I mean, granted, we do still have one more run of herbicide, as you can see, 24% infestation. We do have one more run of herbicide to do. But, uh, in all reality, we really shouldn't have to. And we could really do with upping the PK a little bit. And I kind of have a hard time with that. But we'll see how it goes. So I guess by rights we could do three more complete sprayings of this field to try and get things to level off. I don't know that I'm a big fan of that. <laughs> Just, uh, can you imagine the amount of money and the amount of man hours this would be? Wow. Because, uh, I think as we're all aware, FS-15 is much like FS-13 was, if not even more guilty of being uh, really, really generous with the fuel consumption on these vehicles. You know. Now, the frog's not a good example because, like I said, half the time because the uh, fuel tank and the fertilizers are only, you know, mere feet apart, I do, in fact... Uh, end up fueling this thing all the time but it's done an awful lot of work and all of the tractors that have got muchos muchos hours and miles of course they don't very much fuel so but whereas in real life I imagine doing this field once would just about kill those 200 liters then you would still have to come back well like I said at least five passes of this piece of gear alone so there's a thousand liters of fuel and then uh, you still got your plowing, your cultivating, your manure spreader, your harvesters of course and uh, yeah so I can't imagine so what another five vehicles and others there you go a couple thousand liters of fuel to do this one field boy oh boy See, now, if you were a Canadian, uh, that would cost you, like, uh, $8,000. So, mm-hmm, not to be one darn good corn crop. I say, this uh, sprayer seems reasonably efficient. This is our second row, and we're still uh, sitting at 50, 57 plus. Time we hit the end, so that'll be pretty good. <clears throat> well, not 57 plus much. Ooh, okay. I underestimated. Eeks. Oh, and I didn't do the uh, traffic light thing. That's yeah, okay. Luckily, the sprayer doesn't need to actually go past a field to turn around. Because I just do it this way. It's easier for me to judge where this thing's going to go. And it keeps it away from all of these horrible, horrible trees, man. Now, how much are we missing here? I tried to get it so I'd get all of it in one go this time, because normally I don't. And I think, you know what, guys? I think I succeeded for once. 
Alright. Pick a row, any row, and go, go, go. Alrighty. Way we go. Nice. Usually I've got like a 10 foot section at the end that I have to run this thing down. So this time we did not. Although it kind of looks like it sprays all the way to the end on one side, not quite to the end on the other. I noticed a little bit of a gap opening up. Oof. Uh, this is, uh, I think, the limit. <laughs> I think if I turn the GPS on now and I could actually widen it that much, maybe I can, I don't know. But uh, we'd probably find we're at the most extreme edge this thing will do. And again, you can see we're actually missing a bit on both edges. Unfortunately. So. Oops. Life was not as smooth as we first imagined. That's okay. I won't count the moisture over on this very edge. It's uh, working or not working. Because we are going to be a little bit light there. Although comparatively, certainly not. And we should have enough. Well, right, to switch over and hit this with either the PK or the uh, herbicide. And... Boom. Alright, there we go. So, let's fold this baby up. Alright, so that's water. What I'm going to do now is I'll go back. Ooh, I guess we shouldn't try it in our fields. I'm going to go back and I'm going to fill this up with... Um, well, I think we'll do a CC fertilizer, the systemic. Because I do believe uh, three days protection, a day to wilt and three days protection should get us through. And the stuff should have dissipated just about the time we're ready to harvest. So... Yeah, I'm thinking that's going to work for us. So there you go, guys. That's uh, our effort so far. I will uh, certainly not waste the day by doing a day in between, because we do have only so many, of course, before we've got to have this actually working, i.e. the field. You don't get an unlimited amount of days to grow, so we're not going to pretend that we have such a thing. Let's hop back in here and go back to the farm. And for those of you that missed the announcement video, this is, as I say, the first in our farmer series. I also have a mechanic series where we work on all kinds of different vehicles from simulators that are now available. And then there's our geek series where we look at early access, little one-man studio indie jobs, that sort of thing. So say this will be the first in the farmer series because it's a video about farming <laughs> all right let's go over here and i'll switch up and then i'm going to go back out and continue that but i think i will leave you fine folks here to contemplate yeah <laughs> i would love to look out the back window but that ain't happened yeah, I will leave you fine folks here to contemplate what we've done so far, as I'm going to uh, do exactly what I just did for the entirety of this video, drive our little froggy up and down the field, but this time, as I say, we're going to load her up with... Da -da, double C. So, there you are. I'm off to spray a field, because uh, it'll be something different to do. <laughs> Alright guys, if you like the video, please hit the like button. It does my channel a world of good. Uh, leave lots of comments. I love reading your comments. It just makes my day, absolutely. And uh, all of that happiness. So, till next time, this has been Species 7 doing the farmer, and in this case, on Grazyland. Take care of each other, folks, and ciao for now.